it yes or no so light will travel only in the straight line whenever any object will come and uh, obstruct the light it will just deviate it will change the direction but again it will again travel it in the straight line that's what we discussed in the last class right so next one is the reflection of light also discussed in the last class what is a simple definition for the reflection of light the process of changing the direction of the light the process of change in the direction of light by a mirror is called as a reflection of the light okay so whichever whichever the object will act as a mirror they will all will change the direction of the light clear suppose if you take water water can also reflect the light because we can see the our shadows or our um, body or trees or the plants structures in the water itself because it will reflect the light okay okay sir so whichever the object will act as a mirror they will reflect the light so simple definition for the reflection is the process of change in the direction of light is called as a reflection so when you take the images there are two types of image will be formed one is a real image the other one is a virtual image what is the meaning of real image what is the meaning of real image image that can be obtained on a screen Very and good. is always erect image which is obtained on the screen so if you keep one screen now whatever the image is obtained on that screen that is called as a real image virtual means what false it will not exist physically yes or no yes sir so whichever the image is cannot formed on the screen that is called as a virtual image real image means the image which is obtained on the screen so whatever the image you are seeing in the monitors or the tvs or the cinema screens all these are the real image or the virtual image so virtual hmm? so virtual sorry second okay. sir virtual image it, no whatever the image you are seeing on the screen is a real image one minute please okay sorry so whatever the image is forming on the tv screens or the cinema theater screens so all these are the real images right yes sir but suppose if you take one image like a if you see our face on the screen mirror is it the real, real image or the virtual image virtual image virtual image but we cannot catch it again we cannot project it on the screen right yes sir Yes, sir. No, after the reflection, we cannot project that. Our face against the screen. Charging that phone, so they must have done it. Because that Harish Mama, Chind Harish Mama, who started it. Shiva. Sir. Is so not I, sir. Quick. Okay. So if you are speaking now, just mute yourself. Okay. Just keep one more concentration. Okay, not okay. Okay, not your Shiva. Very thick. Okay. okay. so image which is not form on the screen that is called as a virtual image when the right rays coming from the object appear to meet after reflection from the mirror okay so whatever the light rays are coming from the object they will meet after the reflection from the mirror that results in the formation of the virtual image so it is not possible to form a virtual image on the screen because light rays actually do not pass through the screen or cannot received on the screen clear this point we cannot form the virtual image on the screen because what is the main reason the light rays cannot be passed on to the screen or it cannot be received on the screen that is the main reason we cannot have the virtual image on the screen understand right now what is the virtual and what is the real are any doubts in this no doubts for me sir okay now we will discuss about the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror suppose you have taken the candle and just you place the candle in front of the plane mirror you will listen the term clearly that is the plane mirror you have the different types of mirrors are there again the plane mirrors spherical mirrors you know the difference right between these two so between what between the plane mirror and the spherical mirror 
So plane mirror is straight and spherical mirror is oh. It is a war curved, right? Plane yes. mirror means there is a straight one without any curves. The spherical one is a somewhat curved, either concave or the convex shape. But whatever the points we are discussing right now is a plane mirror only. Okay. Suppose you have placed the candle in front of the plane mirror. What you can see? What are the characteristics that you can observe? Sir, your voice is breaking a little bit, sir. I can't hear you. Yes. No, sir. I can hear you. For me also, Let's it's see. breaking, sir. For how many of you the voice is breaking? Uh, Raise your hands. Can you repeat the question, sir? For how many of you my voice is breaking? Just raise your hands. Uh, okay, it's a bit cracking for me. Sir. But there is no issue from my side. Okay. So, suppose if you place the candle in front of a plane mirror. What will happen? You can see the image of the candle on the mirror, right? Yeah, sir. Yes. Whether can you see any lateral inversion? That means the top of the candle will appear as the bottom. The bottom of the candle will appear as the top. Is it possible? Yes, sir. Pinhole camera. No, lateral inversion is possible. Sorry, sorry. Side left to right or right to left. That is the meaning of lateral inversion, right? Yes, it's possible. Lateral inversion is possible. Okay, good. Now, whether the image is an erect or not. Erect means what? What is the meaning of erect image? Erect and the inverted image. Both are different. What is the meaning of erect and what is the meaning of inverted? So, erect means like uh, if it's like in the if it's down and then the other one is also down. If it's on the right, the other one is also on the right. Very good. Like the shadow. So erect image means what? Erect means the same way. How the object is, it is looks like the same way in the image also. Understanding? How the object is appearing outside, the same way it will appear in the image also. That is called as an erect image. Suppose if we are looking into the mirror, our head also will be in the top of the uh, top only, right? In the image also? In the mirror also? Yes, sir. And our legs also in the bottom, in the image also. It will not change. Yes or no? Yes, so, sir. So whatever the image is formed in the plane mirror is an erect image only. What is an image? Erect image. Erect image. Okay. Next one is the lateral inversion. Lateral inversion means side inversion. Sometimes when you see in the, not sometimes, always when you see in the plane mirror, our left hand will appear as a right hand, our right hand will appear as a left hand. Have you observed this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I observed. Yes, sir. So it is one of the characteristics. Yes, Understanding. Sir. So till now we discussed two characteristics. What is the first one? Whatever the image formation is on the plane mirror, it is an erect. What is the second one? There is always a side inversion. Side inversion means what? What is the meaning of side inversion? Um, we see the opposite side of ourselves in the mirror. Like if we see right, if we lift the right hand, we see the left hand in the mirror. Good. If you lift the right hand, you can see it as a left hand in the mirror. If you lift the left hand, you can see it as a right hand in the mirror. That is a side inversion. That is the second property. Third one is whether the size of the object will change. If you see in the plane mirror. Sir, there are few mirrors. No, sir, in the plane mirror it will happen. No. That's what we are discussing. We are discussing only in the plane mirror, right? So in the case of plane mirror, it won't happen. The size of the image will not change in the case of plane mirrors. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Suppose you're standing at the distance of some meters from the mirror. You can see the image also formed at that same distance on the mirror also, right? 
Yes, sir. Understand my point? Yes. Suppose you are standing close to the mirror. Whatever the image formed in the mirror also appears as a close to us. But if you stand somewhat far away from the mirror also, we can see the image also stand looks like if they are standing far away from the mirror. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. So there will be no change in the size of the object or the distance from the mirror in the object. Understand this point? Yes, sir. Clear. Three points. Yes, sir. So whatever the image formed in the plane mirror is a virtual or the real? So uh, that is virtual. Virtual. So four points is cleared or not? Yes, sir. Clear. Virtual, erect, side inversion, and the object will have the same size and the distance. Simple points. Then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Harini, Ritwik, Shiva. Yes, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. No doubt. Shall we move to next topic? Yes, sir. So side inversion also is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So actually, for me, this topic is done. It's almost done in my. Uh, most of this part is done in my old school, sir. In my that part because they used to be ahead of each and every portion. Okay. So I think, sir, I learned this thing in uh, fifth grade. Okay. So in this, you have the advanced concepts like a concave mirror, convex mirror also will be added in this. Okay. Lens topic also will come. So in. most of them I have, have learned, sir. Few of them I haven't learned. Okay. So if you see the ambulance in front of the ambulance, the word ambulance is written in the reverse order, right? So because uh, are the rear view mirrors. So are, like uh, usually in the while like, while you're sitting in the driver's seat, when you look in like the left mirror, right mirror, then you can see the word ambulance written correctly, like so that you can give way to the ambulance. So when you're seeing the image in the mirror, we can see in the side inversion. That means left to right or right to left. So that's what the word ambulance is written in the reverse way on the ambulance, in front of the ambulance. So that when you are seeing the front mirror cars, it will appear as the correct word, right? So that you can give the way to the ambulance easily. You can identify that is an ambulance. Okay. So that's all about the plane mirror. The next one is a spherical mirror. The simple thing is what? It is not a straight plane mirror. It's not a straight one. It has some curve. Okay. So again, there are two types of spherical mirrors. What are the those two types? Concave and the convex. So what is the meaning of concave and what is the meaning of convex? Can I tell you a better example about the concave and convex? Hmm? Anyone? So what do you see again? Concave and the convex. So these are the two different spherical mirrors, are they? So like when you look in a plane TV, like switch off TV, you can see concave. Concave or convex? Concave. Okay. Just uh, yeah. instead of going to TV, can you take the spoon, tablespoon? Yes, yeah, so you can take. Like yeah. if you look on one side, uh, you'll it'll be like opposite side, and on the other side, it'll be normal. If you look it in the spoon side, a spoon. Hmm. So, suppose if you take the spoon normally, and if you look it in the um, concave shape, concave shape means what? The curved shape. Cur curved inward, right? Yes, sir. Curved inward is a concave shape. If you look at it in that now, you can see as a concave, as a front side of the spoon, or if you take the flip of the spoon, like back side of the spoon, it will act as a convex. Okay, that is a curved outward. Sir, and concave is uh, ophthalmoscopes, sir. I see. Con concave? Concave example is ophthalmoscope, uh, which is used by eye specialists. Yeah, good. It is by eye specialist. Also, when you go for the dental doctor, 
they will also use the concave only right because to see the object somewhat bigger in size yes sir. and usually like when you're going there are like on the road in parking areas mostly there are like few circular mirrors that very good sir like even shaving mirrors yeah shaving mirror also is a concave con only sir good. even the rear view mirrors are uh, of of uh, of the cars which are made with convex convex is a good good point the rear view will be convex but whatever the glass we are using in the headlights right that is a concave again okay that we'll study one by one so first the convex concave shape is what this is a concave shape right can you see the cursor on the screen yes sir yes. i shape so if you see inward curve that is called as a concave so it is like this convex means what the outward bulge is called as a convex now understand the difference yes yes sir. sir in the concave the reflecting side is outwards good so like no no, uh, no. reflecting side is in the like core if you take a spoon concave. the inside part like the where it's like down it is concave and like on the back it is convex so if you take the concave mirror right we'll apply some coating coating will be back side and reflecting part will be inside so whenever the these are the light rays the straight lines are the light rays it is a concave mirror so it is reflecting towards the focal point understanding so in the case of concave the reflecting part will be inside one clear aditi hello hello sir is it clear sir what to do i couldn't hear you can you hear me or not thank you some breaking no sir i can hear you fine yes sir no we can hear you still uh, cracking for me sir it was cracking yes sir couldn't hear you what you were telling now in the case of concave mirror the reflecting one is the inside one it's not the outside one the reflecting part will be inside of the mirror this curved part is a reflecting mirror is it clear now uh, yes sir so these are the light rays parallel beam of light rays these four lines so whenever it is fall on the concave mirror all this light rays will reflect back to the one point that means individual light rays are coming to converge into one point right all these are coming to joining at one point yes or no that is a f focus okay can you hear me or not first yes sir yes sir yes sir or any disturbance you are hearing so now so no, sir um, no there is no disturbance okay so the concave mirror is also called as a converging mirror what is the name converging mirror because all the beams of light rays will converge to one point that's why the concave mirror is also called as a converging mirror okay just wait a minute i will show you one point can you see this sorry can you see the screen yes sir this is the c shape right yes sir see these are the parallel rays okay so these are the parallel beam of rays so when you place the concave in that what will happen have been mirrored and if the light is going to hit the inside of here we say we say this is the concave surface so it's a concave surface i remember this as though like if you're walking into the cave it's concave the other way if the light was to hit on the outside 
this we call convex. So concave, walking into the cave. Okay, focus. Now can you see? When you're placing the concave as a reflecting surface, the lines are coming and joining together, right? So all the beams of light are converging together. That's why it is called a converging mirror. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. In the same way. Into a lines. Um, so we've got three to create here. All right. So after exactly inside of your mirror, uh, is lines being focused. Now, if you take a convex as a reflecting surface, what is happening? Is it converging or the diverging? Diverging. Diverging. Good. Diverging means what? Spreading out. It's not joining at one point. Instead of that, it is moving yes. apart. Understand? Yes. What is the meaning of diverging and converging? So diverging means when it's going apart and not combining. Conversion means uh, when it meets at a point and then spreads. Simple is converging means all the rays will converge and will join at one point. Diverging means all the rays will diverge and will go in the far away from each other. Okay. Now you understand the difference between the convex and the concave? Yes, sir. Any doubts? Remaining? No, sir. No, sir. Satvika, Shiva, no, Kohit. No, no, so don't, um, what do you say? Don't confuse between these two times. Which one is a converging mirror? Which one is a diverging mirror? So concave mirror is a converging mirror. And the convex is a diverging mirror. So now we will study about the image formed by the concave mirror. So what type of image it will form with the help of the concave mirror? Real and inverted. So again, the two cases will come. So with the help of the concave mirror, if you keep the image closer to the mirror, it will form different properties. It will have the different properties. If you keep the image um, object very far away from the concave mirror, it will form the different. Okay, so we have the two conditions are there. So don't confuse. One is the object at the far distance from the mirror. Second condition is what? The object is close to the mirror. So first we'll study whenever the object is far away from the mirror. So whenever the object is far away from the mirror, what are the properties of the mirror? What are the properties of the object or the image? The, the image formed if it's far away will be inverted and real. Whenever the object is placed far away from the mirror, the image formed will be real image, inverted image, and the size is smaller than the virtual size of the object. These are the three properties. Real image means what? We can project that image on the screen. Yes or no? The image will appear on the screen. Inverted means what? What is the meaning of inverted? Uh -huh. Upside will be down, downside will be up. Erect and inverted we studied, right, already? Yes, sir. So I have a doubt. Yeah. Uh, so, so like I have a mirror, like if you take it far, then it becomes bigger, like the image. So what do you call that? If you take the mirror and if it makes the object bigger, now that is a concave mirror. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, but when you keep the same object far away from that mirror, whatever the image formed will be smaller. That is what I explained in this point. Clear? So when you place the object far away from the concave mirror, what are the three important conditions? The image formed will be real, 
inverted and the smaller in size than the object. But if you place the object close to the concave mirror, what are the conditions? What are the conditions? If you place the object close to the concave mirror, what are the conditions? So, um, so it is, uh, it will. So it will be like the opposite of the previous opposite of the um, description. Sir, it will be virtual. It will be erect, erect. and. Uh, it will be uh, larger than the object, larger. enlarged. Object. So just now I have given the example, right? Suppose if you hold the curved mirror near to our object, if it enlarge now, that is a concave. If it's a decrease in size now, when you're holding near to the object, it will convex. Clear now? These are the important conditions. Okay. Is it clear for everyone or can I explain once again? So clear. Yes. Sir. Rohit, Ahana, Harini, Ritvik, Satvika, Shiva. Yes, sir. sir actually, I'm unable to hear what are you saying, sir. You're unable to hear? Sir, no, sir. Actually, this was my problem, sir. Um, I had a lag spike. Okay, but right now, can you hear me right now? Yes, sir. Now, sir, from past three minutes, I wasn't able to hear you. Okay. So just check your internet connection so that you can hear clearly. Okay, sir. Okay, where will you use the concave mirrors then? What's the first point? In the? Sir, dentist. Dentist. If you want to see the teeth, very in enlarged size now he'll use the concave mirror sir ent specialist ent specialist the next one is the telescopes also sir. headlights of the vehicles search light to get the strong straight beam of light and a the last one is a reflector Okay, so in the shaving mirrors also we we'll use the concave mirror so you see the object somewhat bigger in size. Okay, these are the uses for the concave mirror. Sir, even in solar finances. Yeah, solar also will use the concave only. Good. So next one is the convex. Okay, your homework for today is apart from these. Where we'll use the concave mirrors and the convex mirror in the industries. Clear your homework. What is the use of concave and the convex mirror in the different industries? Yes, sir. Sir, I, I know not the answer. So, shall I tell you? Write it, write it down in the notebook. We'll discuss in the next class. Okay. Yes, sir. So next one is the convex. Convex means what? Is it the converging or the diverging mirror? Diverging. No, diverging. Why? Why it is diverging? Sir, because the rays is uh, going slantly, sir. Whenever the rays, light rays falls on the reflecting surface, it will diverge the beam of right rays. So all these will go far away from each other. Right? So it is a diverging mirror. Good. Can you see the image here clearly? How it has formed? Yeah, sir. It's going far away. So it, these are the beam of light rays. All these are diverging into the different, different directions. So it is a mirror also mirror. Sorry, mirror also? No, it's a mirror also is diverging, sir. Yeah, it's a convex, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So in the case of convex mirror, we don't have the two conditions. Simple, only one will be there. Whether if you keep the object far away from the mirror or if you keep the object close to the mirror also. Yes, sir. Okay. So what are those three conditions? Virtual, erect, and the smaller than the object. If you keep the object closer to the convex mirror, always the image formed will be virtual and the erect and the smaller than the object. Okay. Then suppose if I have given two mirrors to you, how can you identify whether it is a convex or concave mirror? Hello. Sir. So, so. If I have given the two mirrors to you, one is a convex and the one next one is a concave. How you will identify? Sir, so, like so, so uh, you have. To like, so when you move the mirror back, uh, if it's concave, it will become bigger. If it's convex, it will become small. Is it like that? So, Open code, sir. Oh, sir, did I tell it all the way over? Just uh, repeat again, or um, just rethink about it. Next, hmm. sir, co concave will be it will be when when rays fall, it will divert, sir, and uh, convex it will come together, sir. Okay, but we cannot see as the rays, right? Yes, sir, light. Yeah, if you keep it in the open atmosphere, now we cannot observe clearly that one. Yeah, only sir, we can see only dark face. Only can see it in the dark face. But if I give one object to you, and if I have given the two mirrors to you, so how you will identify whether it's a convex or the concave? So you like, uh, so like looking at your face only try to take the mirror a little back. Uh, if the like the your image enlarges, then it's convex. No, it's concave. If the image uh, becomes smaller, it is convex. Very good. Suppose you have taken the two mirrors and just to keep the object uh, somewhat closer to the mirror. If the image formed is enlarged one, uh, there is a concave. Okay. And if the image formed is smaller than the virginal object, uh, there is a convex. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay, just wait a minute. Yes, can you see here? Virtual, erect, and larger than the object, right? Concave. When the object is close yeah. to the concave mirror. The same way, if you take the convex mirror, now same virtual will be there, same erect nature will be there, but the smaller than the object. So the size of the object is different. Understanding? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, then where we will use the convex mirrors? Where we will use the convex mirrors? car mirror? windows? Like car mirrors? No. Car so generally windows. Convex is used different. in normal windows, like, like normal mirrors, like to look at ourselves or something. So vehicles, so vehicles, oh, okay. rare mirrors. Rare mirrors of the vehicles will use the convex because it will cover the wider part region, right? Even the small mirror will cover the wider region in the back side. So to see the traffic behind the car, we can use the convex mirror. So it will cover the wider region. Good. Rare views mirror in the vehicles. Next. Sir, also the security purpose mirrors which are kept near the in the parking lots. Okay. In front of the cash counters and all in the that shops. Is that's not convex, I think that's concave. Are you talking about the one which is like kind of round and shape? No, no, no. Generally, suppose if we want to see the entire shop in the small mirror, you can use a convex mirror, right? Because yes, sir. we can see the wider region only in the small space in the mirror. That's a convex only. Okay, sir. So convex mirror will be ins installed in the shops near the cash counters or the security points so that we can see the wider region of the shop. Okay, that is the use okay. of the convex mirrors. Is it clear now? 
Yes, sir. I'll ask you that these points concave when the object is closer and when the object is far. Convex. What are the conditions when the object is closer and when the object is far? So all these points are again. I'll ask you in the exam and next class. You have to be in the position to answer. Understanding? Yes, sir. And you have to make a tabular column of this also. Convex and concave, and what are the conditions? Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Can you repeat? You have to make the tabular column of the concave and the convex, and the distance at the closer at the far distance. Okay. So do not understand what you do. We should make a tabular form in concave and convex. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. So next one is the lens. What is the meaning of lens? What is the difference between the lens and the mirror? So are you talking about contact lens? Okay. So I think lens means we can when we keep a water and we should show a right a right arm out. It will show left arm out and things. So if you take the mirror now. Generally, only one will be there, right? Either a concave will be there or the convex will be there. Only one side. But in the case of lens, we have the two spherical will mirrors there. will be there. We have the two spherical surface will be there. So that is only different between the lens and the mirror. In the case of mirrors, only one reflecting surface will be there. But in the case of lens, we have the two reflecting surface will be there. So both the sides will start reflecting. Good. Okay. Good. Both the sides you have the right. So just you check it, yeah. Harini. The thickness of the glass or thickness of the length between at the between at the ends. Check it once. Is it the same? The thickness at the between of the mirror or the end of the mirror? No, sir. Like the at the end, it's kind of uh, thin. At the end, is it the thicker or the thinner compared to between? Thinner. Thinner. At the between, it is somewhat thicker. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, can you relate the properties with these two images? Which one is correct according to this? Uh, so I think mine is a convex lens. The you are sorry, you are using is a convex one. Good. Okay. Suppose if you see your face in the convex mirror, is it appearing bigger in size or the smaller in size? So smaller in size. Smaller in size. Uh, no, 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 no. It will be bigger. Bigger. Bigger or smaller? Sir, convex lens is converging. So very good, very good. Convexing is the converging lens. Converging means what? If you keep the Small. object close now, it will appear bigger in size. If you keep the object far now, it will appear smaller in size. Good, Aditi. So, lens means what? It will have the two reflecting surface. So again, you have the two types: convex lens and the concave lens. Okay. So here, this is a convex lens. Convex means both the sides you have the outside bulging, and the thickness of the lens is more in the center than the ends. In the case of convex lens, the thickness of the lens is more in the center of the lens than the ends. But in the case of concave, what is the thickness? What is the thickness in the case of concave? In the case of concave, the thickness at the center or the middle will be lesser than the end. Do you see here? Here it is a thinner, but at the end it is a thicker. So there is a concave lens. Understanding or not? Sir, yes, sir. Sorry, Aditi. Sir, one is breaking a lot. 
Aditi, is actually actually your your voice 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 is is breaking. breaking. Yeah. You have some internet issue, I think. So your voice is also not clear to us. But what about the remaining people? Is it clear? Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So convex convex lens will have the exactly similar properties to the concave mirror. So concave mirror is also called as a converging mirror. So it has the similar properties with the convex lens. Convex lens also converging lens. Concave mirror also converging mirror. Clear? Simple. Understanding? Yes, sir. So concave yes. will have the two different properties, right? Whenever the object is close to the mirror. and then the object is far away from the mirror so in the same way convex lens also has the two different properties whenever the object is near to the lens whenever the object is far away from the lens so exactly it is similar to the concave mirror properties so concave mirror is equal to what lens concave mirror is equal to what lens मिर राइट Yes, sir. So concave lens is equal to similar to the convex mirror. Convex lens is equal to similar to the concave mirror. Understanding the inversion. So mirrors yes. and the lens opposite. Convex in mirror na concave in the lens. The convex in the lens na concave in the mirror. Like the similarities will be there. Okay. So where will is the convex lens then? Where will you use the convex lens? Magnifying glass. In the magnifying glass. Good. Next. In the cameras, microscope, telescope, binocular glasses, all these cases will use the. convex lens only yes sir yes sir sorry any doubts no sir no sir okay no, sir. so next one is a concave lens you can see the concave lens these are the diverging lens which will diverge the beam of light particles so it is called as a diverging lens it will have the exactly similar properties to the convex mirror okay so where will use a convex mirror sorry concave lens the preparation of spectacles in order to see the image mm -hmm. of the person standing outside so even in spec holes. there are two types right like for the uh, short sight and long sight yeah yeah short sight and long sight so we are using the two okay. different lens right yes sir Okay. And sir, in also in certain kind of uh, telescopes. Sir, in kind of telescopes in the peep holes. Generally, small peep holes will be in doors, so to look after the person who is standing outside, right? So, what type of lens will use in that? Sir, uh, I think convex. Convex. So that you can see like wider space. Yeah, wider we can see only with the help of the convex mirror. Yes. But it is similar to the concave lens, right? Convex mirror is equal to yes. concave lens. Yes or no? Yes. So lens you can use concave. Lens you can use concave. Mirror you can use convex. Yes. Understand. So that's all about the concave and the convex lens. So dispersion of light. You know already with GR color, right? Yes. Yes. No? If you allow the white color light. Onto the prism, 
it will split up into the seven colors that is also called as in rib gr i think i have given the homework for you on this yes sir it's called refraction refraction right yeah so usually when there is sun and rain it comes mm. also like after it rains also when it's sunny like in the water puddles that are formed we can see some good so that is only the refraction of the light so when you are allowing the white light onto the prism it will split up into the seven colors that is a vib gr that is only dispersion of the light okay so with this you have finished this chapter so again many people are absent for today's class we just will revise this chapter completely once again in the revision classes if you have any doubt you can okay. ask me i will clear your yes, doubts sir. any doubts anyone no sir sir i have a doubt sir yeah sir, sir uh, what is a spec spectrum spectra is a series of radiation right electromagnetic spectra we'll say so actually it's given in this book so that's why okay so if you take um, okay if you take vibgr vibgr is one type of spectra only right because continuous form of lights will be there there is no discontinuous right in between series of yes. colors of lights will be there or you can say series of electromagnetic radiation together is called as spectra If you see electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic spectrum, I said EMR, electromagnetic spectrum, which will have the radio waves, next infrared waves, next ultraviolet waves, next UV waves, and all, gamma waves, and all will be there. So all these continuously will form the spectra. It's a light which will have the different wavelengths. All together will be called as a spectra. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any doubts?